So I need a conspiracy theory. There are lots out there, lots to choose from. Don't want the JFK one. The moon one is, uh, I've already ruined it by looking up the real reason, so I can't do that one. Uh, Michael Jackson was innocent. That's a good one. That's still going. Like, people still tweet about that every day. Seriously, hashtag MJ is innocent on Twitter. Have a little look. It is a fucking insane corner of the internet. They're tweeting about it on Christmas Day. And I'm no better, because I'm checking on Christmas to see if they've tweeted about it. I'm not saying I'm better than them. I'm just amazed that on Christmas Day, Michael is not far from their thoughts. On Christmas Day, you could be saying, oh, thank you for coming all the way here. No, no, our turn to host. Sit, sit, sit. Yes, that's it, just over there. Actually, you know, you know what, Stephen? There is something you can do. Uh, just check on the roast potatoes. They're um, second shelf down. I just have to, one second. Uh, there we go. Those fucking kids are liars. They will burn in hell. Michael is in heaven. So you going for check? Down, send. Uh, ten more minutes, yeah. <laughs> we wish you, I mean, I mean... That's proper brainworms, isn't it? I mean, that's... That's insane. And the main reason it's insane is that they don't think Michael Jackson was a pedophile. You know, Michael Jackson. The pedophile. <laughs> like, even post-Jimmy Savile, they still have this faith, you know, like... I mean, Michael... Come on. Michael Jackson lived his entire life as an adult as if he'd been cursed by a witch <laughs> to have to tell all of us that he was a pedophile, but he wasn't allowed to use the word pedophile. Camera like, because I know what's gonna happen. That is the only explanation for his behavior. He admitted all the weird behavior. He just never said the word. Even in the 90s, they'd say, Michael, do you befriend nine and 10 year old boys? And they come to stay with you alone without their mum and dad for three weeks, two weeks, and you give them booze and you sleep naked in the same bed. And it's not even your main bed. It's like a secret extra bed hidden in the attic of your mansion. And the corridor to that bedroom has got pressure pad alarms on it. And the door that enters that corridor is hidden behind a duke box with a secret lever that makes it slide across. That's right, the mansion with a theme park in the back. <laughs> which you built so that ever more children could constantly have a reason to come to your house. Is all of this true? And you can watch the interviews, Michael Jackson's like, yeah! I think that's good. Why would I think that? I must be a... Ooh! Any adult... Oh, so I come back in the room, and this is when I knew he started to crack. He goes, Dad, Dad, listen, listen. And we're both laying there like a couple of wet mops in the front yard, right? 30 seconds. If you cool dancing skeleton guy. A 30-year game of charades. The highest possible stakes. My favorite conspiracy theory is the one where if you get the vaccine, Bill Gates takes over your brain with microchips. I like that one a lot, because the people who are the most worried about that are the people who could really do with Bill Gates. <laughs> taking over their brain. <laughs> if only for a month or two. Just to sort out their affairs, you know, just get them on a better energy provider, I don't know. <laughs> Bill Gates is a very smart man. You should be so fucking lucky to have him. <laughs> do you know how much it would cost to hire him as a lifestyle consultant? He started Microsoft. <laughs> Think what he could do with your stupid brain, you know. <laughs> you could just be trapped in there like a ghost, just, uh, just every now and then I'd send a signal to Bill Gates saying, can I have some KFC now? <laughs> While he starts a revolutionary tech company all around me, you know, sorts out my whole life. I'd love that. <laughs>